welcome back to Over the Table, guys. I'm Joey. We've got a pretty interesting product here today. It is a camera drone that uh, flies, quadcopter, whatever you want to call it. I found it on eBay for about 25 bucks, pretty darn cheap price, so I'm not expecting the best quality. But let's see what $25 can get you. I'll pop the link in the description if you guys want to get your own. Let's get started. All right, guys, so here's our package. It does come in pretty standard eBay packaging, but you can tell that it's pretty firm because there is a, I guess, fairly fragile product inside of there. So it's definitely protected in what feels like some foam. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. We're gonna use our little multi-tool knife to open this bad boy up. And my suspicions were right. It does have foam. All right, guys, so you can see it does come in a foam box. So we're gonna have to slice this tape on the end here to open it up. All right, so this is what we've got. Wow, quite the, uh, quite the unboxing experience, especially compared to stuff that I've unboxed in the past. Very interesting. Uh, first thing we get in the package is the instruction manual with uh, different controls and whatnot. Looks like you also get the uh, information for the app that you download on your phone. So that way you might even be able to get a uh, first person view, like real time video and stuff. And you can even, I guess, control it from your phone. So you don't necessarily need the remote, but uh, that's very fancy stuff. Uh, the other first thing we see is the remote, which does have a uh, controlled throttle so that way you can uh, set it to a certain height and it'll sit there you can see that that can turn i believe it is a six axis uh motion kind of thing you can see you've got different flip options i think there's two speed adjustments and you can either go slow or quick movements with that button there uh your power button this thing does take batteries it takes four double a batteries so we're gonna have to go get some of those uh, pretty nice little remote seems pretty well made. I mean, it doesn't feel like the highest quality It's but it's a remote and the remote wasn't 25 bucks So you can see I did get the version with a camera if you don't want a camera You don't need to get one, but you can see it's got these little these little cushions here on every side So what that'll do is it'll dampen the vibration noise because there's a lot of vibration that goes on when when propellers are spinning so that will that'll dampen it a lot and give you smoother footage and it is adjustable um, very slightly but it is adjustable to be able to adjust your angle i believe this is an antenna to connect straight to your phone via wi-fi which i believe at this moment should give you the uh first person view so that is great stuff there now this right here is a way to mount your phone onto the remote so essentially take that little piece off of there and then you can slide that directly in I don't even know why this just came off you slide it in there and then you can mount your phone directly on there so that way you can get your real-time footage while you're controlling it I mean it's a lot of a lot of good stuff going on for a $25 product so far I believe in here we're going to have some spare parts and charging cables. So let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of little screws in here too. It's a good thing I opened that over the, uh, over the box. Okay, you don't want to lose those mini screws. They're very, very tiny. It also has little uh, blade protectors so you can mount those on. I believe that's what the screws are for. That's always good to have in case you run into something. Uh, I'm not going to put them on just because I feel daring and I'm not going to. I think that drones have a nice sleek look when they don't have them on. It also comes with two little, uh, two little legs so that way it can stand up. Three, four spare propellers in case you were to break a propeller. You've got your charging cable which is perfect for charging up your battery. So it is rechargeable. It does give you a little screwdriver to connect your little screws. Last but not least at all is the drone. Now I did get the black version. It does come in two different colors. It comes in white and black. I really like the way the black one looks though. 
just because black is a great color. You guys know that I love black. The camera, I think, just slides in. You can see there's like a little hook, hook on it. So I think it's just gonna, just gonna pop in there. Uh, these legs definitely need to be screwed on. So you can see we've got all these little screws inside the box. So we're gonna go ahead and screw on the legs because they're kind of necessary. So let's get that done. All right, sweet. The second side took way less time because I don't know, the screws just happen to go in a lot nicer. So now you can see what it looks like. It actually does look decent and it almost looks like an actual high-end drone. As you can see, it is a mini version. When it's standing, you can see it's just, just enough to where that camera is not hitting the ground. So we're definitely gonna keep these foam pads on because I don't think it would be long enough without them. So we're gonna keep those on there. I believe this plug actually plugs into the outside right here. So that's what we're gonna do. Sweet guys, everything's plugged in, nice. Now, I believe to give this thing power, one of these is to charge it with this charging cable here. We'll plug into one of these ends, but then I think once you have it charged, you plug it into itself. There we go, plugged into itself. Now we'll go ahead and tuck the wires back underneath. All right, now it's all closed up. Let's see if the switch does anything. It does. You can see the lights are coming on. It's got red and blue, kind of like cop lights. Nice. So it definitely has power. All right, now guys, we are getting real close to, uh, to actually flying this thing. Heck yeah. You just record it from your phone and it doesn't require an SD card because I don't see a place to put one. So it must just record it right from your phone. That is really, really fancy. I love that. All right, guys, so it's got a QR code. So we're gonna use this little QR reader to go ahead and uh, get us the information from that. THFPV, which tells me it has FPV because why would something be called FPV if it didn't have FPV. And for those of you who don't know, FPV stands for first person view. So essentially you're going to be able to see what the camera sees. So, I mean, that makes for some really awesome flight footage for sure. I'll uh, go ahead and give it, a, give it the permissions that it needs. You have to connect to the drone's Wi-Fi. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see if See if it, it's Wi-Fi pops up. Perfect, it's right there. Great. All right, clearly you're not gonna have internet when you're connected to it. All right, so now it's flashing a lot. And you can actually see it is first person view. And you know what? That camera quality Let's point it out. It's not too bad. Yeah, you can see it's a little jumpy, but not bad, for real. Wow, so it's a first person view. And you can control it right from your phone. That's fancy, oh man. So we're gonna go ahead and, and stop because we're gonna put some batteries in the remote. We're gonna take it out and get some flight footage this is gonna be awesome all right guys so here's the drone and here's the remote I'm gonna be able to see what's going on on the camera I don't know if you guys can see that hopefully you can a little bit um, I'll be able to see what's going on on the camera be able to see it in first-person view I'm gonna show you guys the footage and everything afterwards so uh, let's take this thing on it's made in flight
I think I got some decent footage there for sure. There's a lot of wind out right now. Alright guys, I'm going to be real with you for a second. $25. You got to look back 5, 10 years ago, a drone, a flying thing with a camera on it would blow your mind. Right now it's $25 for this product. Yeah, it's not the best video quality. Yeah, it's not the most stable thing. It was very stable. It was kind of windy and it was still able to handle it. Yeah, it doesn't have perfect range, but guys, first person view, a remote, rechargeable, a camera, spare parts for $25? Are you crazy? This is a necessary purchase for anyone that wants to get into drones. Start with this, then work your way up. This right here is a perfect starter. You'll be able to get some decent aerial footage. Of course, nothing crazy good. You can see it's still shaky. But in all honesty, if I could find a lightweight, high quality camera and throw it on there, then I'm getting good footage from the air. Like, it's just, it's a really good product. I definitely, definitely put my recommendation on it. It's just overall a really nice product. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button right down here. I got a ton more videos coming out to you guys, including like the last video and the playlist. You don't want to miss out on anything in the future. Tons more great stuff. Have a great day, everybody. And as always, don't get shot.